I'm Colleen Derrick with Swaggers Insurance. Welcome to Giving and Generosity 4.1. Death and taxes will happen. This, this is the tax part. You knew it was coming because you knew the taxes were coming because that's what happens. We're going to be discussing, this is 4.1, so we're going to be discussing taxes and your family when we're giving. Me, you, or who? Who, 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 is there a tax implication on giving? Well, no, you're allowed to give gifts in Canada without paying taxes. So why are we talking about taxes and giving? Well, because there's still this thing called disposition of asset. And when there's a gain on the disposition of an asset, there is a taxable event. You know what? You don't really get double taxed in Canada. What you do get is taxed on when you make money or when something you have grows in value, so you're making money, or when something you uh, create builds value or creates value, in which case you're making money. So guess when you get taxed? When you make money. If you don't make money, you're not getting taxed. So it's that simple. Now, that being said, uh, when we want to give money to certain places, there can be tax benefits as well. Uh, if I want to put money into an RSP for my spouse, then I can do a spousal RRSP and I can get a tax credit for that. They get the money invested on their side, I get the tax credit. Now, if I pull that money out within three years, I also then have to declare that as income and pay tax on it. If it is more than three years, then my partner is allowed, my spouse is allowed to pull that money out and they declare it as income and pay the tax on that. Did you know that? We have professionals that can help you manage the tax planning on gifting to families. When I give money to say one of my kids into their RESP, what happens with the taxes on that? Well, when they pull it out, did you know that that is then taxed to my student? If I give money to a the the oh gosh it's the the home savings account, it's it's sort of a blend between a, T, a TFSA sort of and uh, and the first time home buyers plan, and 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 there's you know if I give money to that then uh, I can have a tax credit. Well, what if I want to give that to that to somebody else? And this is where you know there are so many different scenarios and situations. Talk to a professional. But you want to ask, am I paying the tax on this? Is, is somebody else paying the tax on this? Or is there any tax on this? TFSA versus RESP versus the first time home savings uh, account versus an RDSP, which is a savings plan for people that have a disability tax credit. And did you know that we are allowed to have uh, on death, you're allowed to have money go from your RRSP into an RDSP, and that saves taxes on your final tax return because that is a tax shelter program. But there are limits around that. So questions again to ask a professional, get your professionals involved in this. And you can go to Money Renovations, and there are professionals that you can find links to there. Book an appointment, talk to somebody if you have questions about this. And if you don't like anybody on there, no problem. You go on to FP Canada, they will connect you with a certified financial planning professional. Or you can go to Kingdom Advisors, which means you get a certified, planning, plan, certified financial planning professional who also has been educated and uh, done a lot of studying on biblical principles as they have to do with money. Finally, again, taxes on death and gifting to people. Uh, did you know that if you have an RRSP, you, you get taxed for the entire amount of that RRSP if you give it to somebody other than your spouse or into the RDSP? But what if you give that RRSP, have it slide over to your spouse? Oh, you don't pay tax on that if that happens at death. If your RRSP slides to your spouse, there's no tax on the disposition because it is slid over as a protected registered plan to your spouse. And you're allowed to do that. So many of these tips, so many ways to make your tax. Taxes are fine. It means you're making money, but you know what? 
I think you spend your money better than the government. So how about you do some planning, get some professionals in place and make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck on your gifts.